Hi friends, today we'll be discussing about a special kind of a curve. I'm not going to tell you the answer right away. Let me see if you can guess. Okay, I'm going to give you a few examples. Okay, you've all must have had, a, say, you've seen a car wheel, right? And some of your favorite foods, if I want to name it, a pizza, okay, and a donut, okay, and say, say the moon you see every day, the moon. Okay, uh, on its full moon day, right? Now, uh, you've guessed the shape, I'm sup I suppose, you're right. The shape that we are discussing today is the circle. Now, this is a really exciting shape and it has got very interesting facts that we'll be learning. First, let me draw a circle. Okay, let me try. Okay, that's not right. Okay, let me try again. Now that's not right either. Why am I unable to draw? Okay, let me try a different way out. I'm not very good at drawing though. Anyway, let me try a different way out. So what I'm going to do differently this time is I'm going to fix a point. Okay. And I'm going to draw the circle around it. Okay. Wow. Now this is perfect. Now what we have here is a circle. And this point that I fixed is nothing but the center of the circle. Okay. Let me just draw a line from the center to the boundary. Okay, so this is just a line joining the center of the circle to the boundary of the circle. Okay, let me see what happens if I rotate it. Okay, now if I rotate it, let's see, it moves all. Okay, it's like the hands of a clock, right? So this fits throughout, fits the circle throughout. That means this line segment here, the length of the line segment remains same for the whole circle. So this line segment is nothing but the radius of the circle. Okay, let me move the radius here and since the distance is same, what if I flip it on the other side? What I get is a line segment passing through the center of the circle. What we have here is the diameter and of course you must have realized by now the diameter is twice the radius of a circle. Now let's do something different. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the diameter a little below. Okay, what happens? Nothing. The length of the diameter has changed. It has become, it's less than what it was before, right? And it also gets a new name. What we call this is a chord of a circle. So this here is a chord of a circle. Now let's just have a look at this. See, chord of a circle is dividing the circle into two different parts. Let me color it differently. Okay, the top half, I'm coloring it in red. And below, say, I color it in blue. Okay, you can see the red part is the major part or bigger in area. So, we call this red part as the major segment and the smaller blue part is called as the minor segment. Okay, let's just start with the circle again. But what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to bring back the diameter to its own original place. And then, now do you see how many parts is the circle getting divided into? Two parts and they are equal. Now each equal part, say I'm coloring it again, this is say a red color, this say a blue color. Each part is called as the semicircle. Why semi? Because the circle is getting divided into two parts. So each of these parts is a semicircle over here. Let's draw another circle now. Okay, here is the center and here is my circle. Now what I'm going to do is, Okay, let me just draw one radius and another radius over here. Now, this space that you see between the two radii is nothing but the sector of a circle. And there's another part of a circle that might interest you. you can you see the boundary in the boundary? If I take a part of the boundary, say this is what I'm removing and say this part of a boundary is nothing but arc of a circle. 